Alrighty guys, this is the final part. And after this, I'll, I'll, this video will get uploaded probably around 8.40, Um Depends what time it is. What time is it right now? It's 8.06. So around 8.45, 8.50, 8.40, this video will get uploaded. And I'll watch my amazing video. By the time my video is finished, I'll be, it'll be probably around 10.30, 11 o'clock around there. I'm going to take a nap and sleep till the evening. I'm going to work on my book as usual. Around 9 o'clock, I'll work 10, 9 o'clock, I'll work on the book. And then, yeah, then I'll make another video early in the morning tomorrow. And tomorrow, today, tomorrow, or Wednesday, I get my check. I might get my check today, I might get it tomorrow, or I might get it Wednesday. Wednesday is the latest day it comes in, obviously. I'm going to be excited for that Rad Brad uh, Last of Us remastered walkthrough on this channel. And then Rings of Power is coming out the fall. Rings of Power is coming out this Friday, September 2nd. So it's an exciting month for Ivan O'Meara, obviously. Yeah. As it sucks not having any money. That's why God gave me these keys. These, even though these keys are, I see is a little bit of a curse. There's a reason why God gave me these keys. Because, yeah, I, if I don't give you the keys, the, the gatekeepers are going to keep you poor for the rest of your life. Either you sell to them when they take all your billions and they give you peanuts or you, you stay poor for the rest of your life. And because I'm God, I deserve to have financial control. I deserve to, to have control over my own money. Because I'm the fucking creator of the universe. The gatekeepers don't, don't deserve to control my money. Because they're not worth my money. That's why God gave Yeah, if, in order for you to have your financial control, I mean, you need to be able to open your own door. That's why God gave me these stupid keys, obviously. So I'm saying, huh? It's a blessing. Even though I hate these keys, you know what I'm saying? Because they're annoying and I trip. You know what I'm saying? And, and I have anxiety in public, obviously. God, it's a blessing because I can make... I, I, uh, trust me, I've waited like about four and a half, five days now. And, and it sucks not having any money, man. I know that feeling. Hence why I'm very, very generous to the Lord of the Rings crew. Because I know that feeling of not having any money. It's not a good feeling, man. To, to know that you have no money in your account is a shitty feeling. Hence why you pay the crewman a nice one for the kid. That way they haven't they haven't they have enough money to last for a good like a year and a half. They feed the finance for a year and a half, they can do good things with that money. You see what I'm saying? And that's how you know Peter is a greedy animal. As his Lord Rings actors made peanuts and he took the whole thing for himself, man. Whereas me, even though I'm greedy, I'm not I'm not the kind of guy who takes all the treasure and and, 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 and all these actors make nothing. No, even though I'm making way more money than the actors, I I'm, I I pay them all a very, very rich salary. I pay the crewman all a very, very rich salary. Because I know it's I know that feeling of not having any money. It sucks, man. It's not fun not having any money, man. I I, I know, yeah, trust me guys, I, I, I used to be poor. I know the feeling of not having any money. It sucks. And that's why I pay the crew a nice one for thousand dollars. But don't let them do for you. If they if they want like a piece of the profits, they're, they're not ripping you off. They're not worth that. Is there? Right. Hence why I'm very generous to Peter Jackson. And the actors, or Mel Gibson, because he, cause I know the amount of money I'm making is an embarrassment of riches compared to how much they're going to make. As me and Weeds are going to make, I don't know, or 69 billion bucks, 70 billion bucks at the movies and merch. There's nothing worse than you making your 70 billion dollars at the board of movies and merch. And these actors are getting peanuts. No, give the actors a nice piece of the pie. But don't let them do you. Give John by Egg and all those guys a nice, like, 6, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 million royalties. Give them a nice piece of the pie, but don't let them dupe you and give them like $30 million of your money. No, they're not worth that. I'm saying. I'm not going to go any higher than 0 0.01 for John, uh, Vaughn, Daniel Manette, Digimon Sue, and Angel Angelina Bazelle. I'm not going to go any higher than that for those guys. Andy Serkis, give them 0 0.01. It's good enough. Give Carl Urban 0 0.01. I'm saying. But don't let them dupe you. If they want like 0 0.1%, they're ripping you off. They're not worth that. My like, guys, I'm not going to give you like fucking like $50, $60 million in royalties. You're not worth that. I'm going to give you a nice, like, five, six million dollars in rolls. That's good enough. You don't make this in Hollywood. Hollywood, they pay most of you guys your, like, two, three million dollars flat salary for your fucking movie. I'm paying you rich salary. I'm going to give you a nice piece of the profits. See what I'm saying? Hence why when I get that check, I don't know, I get ten billion bucks. I make ten billion bucks off Zanus, obviously. Eleven billion dollars off Zanus. Ten billion dollars off Zanus. I had that smile on my face. I got my ten million dollar check. When I go outside... And I hang out at the Armour Bar during those 10 days. It's guaranteed some people are going to ask you, Ivan, like, I read your book. It was a sick book. Thanks, man. You know, Ivan, by the way, how much money did you get paid? You know what I'm saying? Some people might ask me that. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to tell you, man. It's none of your business. I'm not, I'm not, I prefer not to tell you. Ivan, why don't you want to tell us? Because I, I prefer to keep it to myself. I want to stay humble. I don't want to be an asshole. 
I'm saying, I know if I tell them the amount of money I made, they're all going to feel like shit. All these average people in, 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 the, in the, at the bar are going to feel like shit because they don't make it. They can never make that kind of money. You know what I'm saying, you know, I even made more money than even all these Hollywood celebrities and CEOs. Yeah. He made more money than even all these pro sport athletes. He made his 10 billion bucks, his 12 billion bucks. Yes, money that we can never make. You know, Ivan's the son of God. He's special and he has the keys. He can make his easy billions. We don't have the keys like him. We can't make our easy billions. Ivan can open his own door and the whole world's aware and he can make his easy 10 billion bucks. Whereas we, 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 we have to sell out to a gatekeeper in order for him to open the door for us. Yes, in this world, if you want to be rich, well, I mean rich, make you, if you want to make your like 300,000 plus man, 400,000 plus and be wealthy, you got to sell it to a gatekeeper. And if you sell it to the gatekeeper, they're going to open the door for you. That's all these big businesses worldwide, they all sold out to a gatekeeper. You know what I'm saying? They, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they're all sellouts. Don't hate me, guys. All the people on Shark Tank, you know what I'm saying? Marcus Lamont, all those guys are all sellouts. As in order for, that, for, 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 for the door to be open for them, they have to sell it to a gatekeeper. Hey, if you do this, we're going to open the door for you. And we're we're, we're going to open the door for you for your business. And they sell out and they end up making more money and they make their millions. Up, but they're all dirty slaves. They're all salt. Seems like, huh? Yeah. Was Ivan O'Meara is not a sellout because, because I have my own keys. I, I, because I have my own keys, I don't have to sell to anyone. I have my own keys. I can be therefore, I can therefore have my full financial control and I can be king. And I could be free. I could be rich and free. Whereas if I do not have my keys, I will not be rich and free. I'd be rich and a dirty slave. Because in this world, if you want to make your money, you got to do it. You got to be a dirty slave. You have to do it. You know what I'm saying? You know, hence why I'm going to keep my lips sealed when I want to. Because a high chance I might check out the armor bar during those 10 days. Okay, take me to the. Uh, call a cab. Take me to the armor bar. I want I want to chill in the, in the armor bar for a good hour and a half, hour and a, hour and a half, two hours. And it guaranteed some people there. Oh, Ivan, I read your book, man. Sick book. You know what I'm saying? You wrote an amazing story, Ivan. You wrote that, Ivan? Yeah, I wrote it. Ivan, you must be happy, Ivan. You made a lot of money for yourself. Oh, yeah, I made some I made some good money for myself. Holy shit, Ivan's humble. You know what I'm saying? How much money did you make, Ivan? No, I'm not going to tell you, man. It's not even business. Ivan, just tell us. We don't care. No, I'm not going to tell you how much money I made. You see what I'm saying? I'm not even going to tell my step family how much money I made. You won't tell me how much money you made off, your, off the money you made worldwide. I'm not telling you. I'm not telling them shit. How much money you made? Oh, I made enough. I'm not going to tell you how much money I made. It's none of your business. See what I'm saying? Because I don't want what I don't want. My step parents won't feel like shit because they, 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 they're they fucking trillionaires. They're multi trillionaires. They have probably like a couple trillion dollars in their bank. They're fucking loaded. So if I make my 10, 50 million dollars, it's nothing given how much they made every year, obviously. But like, because I now have the keys, financial control, they know I'm going to make my tens of billions off my movies and my merch. Like 69 billion bucks on my movies and my merch. Yeah. Obviously. My step. Family won't feel like shit if 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 I told them how much money I made. I'm not gonna tell them. It's none of their business, obviously, obviously. But but because they 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 have the multi trillionaires. But like the average people in Elmer and Ottawa, if you tell them how much money you made, they're gonna what? They're gonna feel like shit because 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 because, because they all everyone in this world they all make on average 50, 60, 70 k a year, and mm -hmm. I just made my easy on my easy like ten billion dollars. Seems like huh? Yo, Ivan made his easy ten billion dollars. He made more money than even, he made more money than even what all the Hollywood actors. He's worth more than even guys like Will Smith. Yes, man, I'm bigger than all those guys. That's why I keep your lips sealed. Don't brag. Hey, VK, if you ask me, Ivan, how much money did I make? I, I made ten billion bucks in my book. Holy shit, Ivan, you made ten billion dollars, Ivan. I'm like, yeah, VJ. Ivan, you're gonna share that. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna share it with you, VJ. Relax, man. Relax. I'll share it with you. I mean, we can start our own film studio with this money. We can build our 300 million dollar condo. We can buy our 100, like 30 million dollar jet, our 60 million dollar jet, our 60 to 55 million dollar yacht. We can put 100 million dollars towards our Grand Turismo property for our Sky Source Film Studio. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We can buy our nice clothes, I mean, get our nice cars. Yeah. We can do all that, man. Travel around the world. Stay at suites worldwide. Yeah, man. Living the life. Since there. Yeah. Hence why everyone treated me like shit in my life. Because they're all envious, obviously. Hence why, yeah, we know, yeah, the reason why we all treat Ivan like shit because we're fucking envious, man. Ivan's fucking lucky, man. He has his hot ass fucking VJ with a glowing beauty, fresh forever. He can live forever in the world. He's a creator of the universe. We're all gonna die in 80, 90 years. Ivan has the keys. He can make his easy fucking billions. Whereas we, 
we work our asses off just to make 50 fucking K a year. It's, it's tough in this world for us to even make 100 K a year. And I even made this easy fucking $10 billion. Yes. That's why everyone treat me like shit in my life, obviously. Because they're all envious, obviously, is what I'm saying, here. Because none of these guys can make their easy... Even celebrities can't make easy, easy, an easy 10 billion. Even celebrities can't make their easy billions. Celebrities can make their easy one, a couple hundred thousand dollars or maybe a couple million dollars, but they can't make their easy ten, billions, man. They don't have the keys like me. They're all cells. They have, they have to rely on the gatekeepers to open the door for them. Open the door for their career. Whereas I, I can open my own door. I don't need anyone to open the door for me for my career. I have my own keys. I have my own keys, I'm saying. I have my own keys. Yeah. I have my own keys. That's why what? That's why everyone treats me like shit, obviously. And that's why everyone hates on me with my keys, too. Sometimes I notice whatever I think, people talk outside and they hate on me, obviously. Yeah, because they're envious, obviously. Yeah. Let's hate on Ivan. Like, oh, let's, let, let's, 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 let's try to make Ivan uncomfortable. Let's hate, let's hate on him. For what he thinks, let's hate on him like crazy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They hate on me because they're envious. Like, Ivan, I, I, Ivan has the keys, man. He's fucking lucky, man. God, his father gave him the fucking keys to the kingdom, man. He make his easy billions, yeah. <laughs> easy ten billion dollars off my book, yeah. You know, all, Ivan, all Ivan has to do is just write his book. He'll make his easy like 10, 15, 17 billion dollars off his book. Whereas we can't make that, man. We like if we wrote our own book, only maybe five hundred people would buy it. <laughs> Two fifty people would buy it, and Ivan, the whole world buys it. <laughs> yeah, man. It's actually funny, I'm saying. Yeah, if you're an average person, if you're an average person and you write your own book, chances are only maybe a couple hundred people will buy your book. If you're lucky, a thousand, two thousand people. But if you promote your book well, if you promote your book properly. You can probably have at least a good minimum of 500 to even 1,000 people buy your book if you promote it well, like I said in my past videos. If you, if you sell 1,000 copies and you make a nice, like, sixth grand for yourself, it's a nice paycheck. It's nice, nice money for, 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 for your first book, man, as an average person. But because these guys don't have the keys, they have to rely on, they have to sell out, obviously, for, for the gatekeepers to open the door for them. You know what I'm saying? Whereas me, I have my own keys. I don't have to sell to any gatekeeper. I can, I can open my own door. That's why God gave me the keys. You know what I'm saying? That's why God gave me the fucking keys. Yeah. Yeah. After this video, I'm going to upload it, watch it, and then I'm going to uh, go to bed after this, man. Around, I don't know, 10, 30, 11 o'clock, I'll go to bed. Now, I might get my check today or tomorrow or Wednesday, perhaps. I might get today. Most likely not today. Most likely tomorrow or Wednesday. I get my check and I'm never waiting six days again for my check. It sucks not having any money, man. Yeah. Hence why I'm very generous to the Lord of the Rings crewmen and the actors. Because I know that feeling of not having any money is not a good feeling, man. It sucks to, 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 to know you have no money in your account, man. You can't buy shit. It sucks, man. It sucks. Hence why I'm paying the Lord of the Rings crewmen a nice 150k. And I'm giving them a $2,000 gift card. That way they have some money for themselves. $2,000 gift card, they can use it for their groceries. Buy food for the family for a good... $2,000 is a good, like, two months worth of groceries, man. You can use your $2,000 for your groceries. You can use it for your bar. Take your family out a nice dinner. Buy your, 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 theater, your theater system and your TV. Yeah. I'm helping them out a lot, obviously. Please ask me, yeah, I mean, you're very generous. The Lord of Rings crewmen are well taken care of. You know what I'm saying? You're paying them. They're, they're what? They're nice 150 one fifty thousand salary, yeah. They're well taken care of, obviously. The crewmen, low living crewmen, are well taken care of. They're well taken care of. Seems like, I might end the video here, guys. I'm a little tired. I don't think I can go on for another fifty minutes. Yeah. So I made a good, like, I don't know, hour and like seventeen minute video, twenty minute video. That's good enough. End it. I end the video here in a good couple of minutes. Here, I'm not gonna go for the full twenty nine minutes. Let's see. Upload it, and I'm going to watch my amazing video. You guys will watch it with me, obviously. And then I'm going to go to bed and sleep. Pass out till like, 8 o'clock and at night. Work on my book. Obviously. Yeah. I haven't. Are you going to build that theory chain? No. Most likely not, guys. I'm just going to sit the fork up on Amazon. I don't need to build a theory chain. It's a lot of work, man. 
I don't feel like hiring 10,000 employees and have something crazy with, with the whole thing filled up all day. It's crazy. Stick the fucking run Amazon. It's good enough. Yeah. But I'm, I'll, I'll have the talk with VJ. I might perhaps build a theory chain. I'm going to have to have that big talk with VJ. If VJ wants to build it, I'm like, okay, fine, VJ. Well, let's build it. But she does, chances are she will not want to build it. You know what I'm saying? I, you, you, and that's also if I make enough money, too. If I make 10 billion bucks, I'm not going to put money in the theater chain. No. That's all my my money gone. No. I'm just going to stick the fork on Amazon. You know what I'm Obviously. Yeah, we just going to be curious. Ivan, how much money did you get paid? Like, VJ, I'll tell you how much money I made when we, when we go, when we check in the hotel. You know what I'm saying? And once I'm in the hotel, okay, I we're in the hotel. How much money did you make? I don't know, Vijay, I made like $10 billion. Like, holy shit, you make $10 billion, Ivan? Yeah, I see, I made $10 billion. Like, holy shit, that's a lot of money. Like, you actually, are you sure it's not $1 billion, Ivan? No, I made 10. I saw the, I counted, I saw the nine zeros. The 10 and the nine zeros, that's 10 billion bucks for you. Like, holy shit, Ivan, we're rich. And I thought I was rich. Holy shit, Ivan, you're richer than all these Hollywood celebrities and all these CEOs and all these sport athletes. Yeah. Fucking loaded. Like, you're richer than even guys like Will Smith and Keanu Reeves, Ivan. Those guys are worth, like, $400 million, and you made $10 billion off your book. Yes, sweetie. You know what I'm saying? She's all happy. Oh, my God, Ivan, we can build our $300 million our condo. We can buy our yacht. We can buy our jets. We can, you know what I'm saying? We can buy our nice clothes, get our nice cars. Yeah. My Bugatti, my Lamborghini. If you can get a Lamborghini, I can get my Bugatti, my Porsche, my Ferrari. I'll get a Bugatti down the road, but for my first set of cars will be a Ferrari, Porsche and like uh and like a Jeep. Those are my three cars I'm gonna get. A Porsche, uh, Ferrari and Jeep. And Vijay will probably get a good maybe I don't know. She might get maybe a Benz and a BMW, maybe an SUV, or maybe a Lamborghini, a Benz, and maybe an SUV. Yeah. Vijay might get a Lambo, you never know. We'll see what happens. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna keep saying this. I'm gonna tell VJ. Okay, Vijay, I told you how much money I made. Don't go bragging to anyone. Oh, I made. Uh, I know how much I, I even made ten billion dollars. Don't do that, as people can get very envious about that stuff. Seems there. Keep your lips sealed, Vijay. Don't go bragging to these fucking people that I made ten billion bucks in my book. They can get envious, as none of these guys can make this kind of money. Even the celebrities can't make this kind of money, Vijay. The man, like we're, we're Vijay, me and you are much richer than all these Hollywood celebrities. If I make ten billion dollars in my book, don't go bragging to these people. I made ten billion bucks. No, keep it to yourself. Be humble. I have an I promise. I won't brag. Yes, VJ, don't brag. The fact that you did that thing in your video, yeah, yeah. She was counting your money. She had a cigar. VJ, I know you, you can be a bit cocky. Please, VJ, keep keep it to yourself. Don't tell anyone that I made ten billion dollars in my book. Otherwise, you can get envious. As if, you, if you go to the bar, go to the restaurant, the waiters are waiting us. Don't tell them I made ten billion. They can get envious. As all these people work their asses off, them, son. They worked their asses off just to make 35, 40K a year. And me and you, we made our easy $10 million. Don't go bragging to them, BJ, please. You know, I don't worry about it. I won't brag. Yes. And don't tell John Deere how much I made either. They can get envious. Don't tell Peter. Don't tell Mel. They can get envious. As Peter Jackson does not have $10 million in his bank. He probably has maybe $800 million in his bank around there. A billion. Not $800 million in his bank. He doesn't have the kind of money me and you have, BJ. Don't brag to him. He can get envious. And don't brag to Peter or John Favreau, the actors, that we signed that massive contract with Amazon. That's 72%, 28% deal. No. Keep it to yourself, VJ. That way, people don't get... You keep everyone happy. They're not angry at you. See what I'm saying? Because people can get envious about that stuff. See what I'm saying? Even Keanu Reeves... Even though Keanu Reeves and Scarlett Johansson and Africa are loaded, they're worth like $150 million, $400 million. Their wealth is, is chunk change. The wealth, the wealth is pocket change compared to my wealth. It's less than 1% of my wealth. See what I'm saying? So if I make $10 billion bucks off my book, and Keanu Reeves is worth like $400 million... He, he, if, if I tell him I made ten billion dollars, he'll feel a bit like shit because the amount of money he has in his bank is chump change compared to how much money I ha I have in my bank. See what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Even though Keanu Reeves and Ben Affleck and them are loaded, obviously they're rich people. They're not rich like me, and VJ. They're not living the billionaire life like me, and VJ. They can't afford three hundred million dollar condo, three hundred million dollar penthouses. No, they probably buy like thirty, twenty, ten million dollar houses. You know what I'm saying? Scarlett Johansson them can afford their own jet, but chances are they they, they they can afford cheaper jets, like a 17 to 18 million dollar jet, a 30 million dollar jet they can afford. Whereas me and VJ, we're, 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 we own like 100, like 40 million dollar jets. Better, much better jets than even their, their fucking jets. They can't afford that. They can buy the nice cars, obviously. They can afford all that, obviously. But they're not living the billionaire life like me and VJ. Whereby, whereby we own our 300 million dollar car. They can't afford those kind of houses. 
They own like 10 toy houses, you know what I'm saying? They're rich, but they're not as rich as me and VJ. They're not living the kind of life me and VJ are living. We're much richer than them. That's why VJ, keep it to yourself. Don't go bragging. I know where I, I won't brag, you know what I'm saying? But Keanu Reeves, all the people around the world, and all the Hollywood actors, they're not stupid. They know I have the keys. They know I made my billions of my book, obviously. But don't tell them how much money I made. Otherwise, they can get envious. You know what I'm saying? And they also know what? Yeah. They know I made my billions of my book. But don't tell them how much I made. Otherwise, they can get envious. I remember I, I remember my so-called friend who I hung out with at the, in Darcy, obviously. He told me he bought his own house. Now, I remember I was a bit envious because I was working fucking at Coors as a dishwasher, making like 500 bucks every two weeks. And he was making like, I don't know, 80, 90 K by the time he was like, by the time he was like 23 years old. He did his electricity trades, obviously. And he bought his own nice, like $300,000 house in Elmer. A nice, beautiful house here in Elmer, man. A nice house for a fucking average person. And I was, I'm working at Coors making 500 bucks every two weeks. Yeah, I was a bit jealous. If I got jealous about that, imagine me telling these guys I made 10 billion bucks off my book. All these average guys who work hard to make 50, 60 K a year. You know what I'm saying? They're making a good living, obviously. They can pay the bills and they only have a couple hundred bucks for themselves to spend. You know, Ivan made his 10 billion bucks. He can, Ivan can, with that money, I can live that life. Yeah. Fuck, man. Ivan's lucky, man. He made his 10 billion bucks. He's going to be living that life. You know, he can buy his 300, he can build his 300 minute condo, own his own like 130 minute jet. His 55 minute yacht, he can he can own his own Bugatti, his own Lamborghini, his own Ferrari, his own Jeep, his own Porsche. None of those guys can afford those kind of cars. They can afford like cheaper, like 20,000, 80,000, 30,000 dollar cars. But they can't afford to get like like high end 100,000 dollar Benzes, Porsches, and, and Ferraris. No, they can't afford that. That's for the rich. You, if, in order for you to afford a Ferrari, you need to be making, or, or Lambo, you need to be making at least like 400 plus thousand a year. You want to afford a Lamborghini and a, and, a, and a Ferrari. Whereas a Benz and a BMW, if you make 100K, you can afford it. You can afford a cheaper one. Like a $50,000 Benz and like a BMW, you can afford that. But you can't afford a one. To afford a $100,000, $50,000, $200,000 Benz, you have to be making like five hundred, six hundred thousand plus a year, man, to afford a more high end Benz and BMW. You see what I'm if you make 150k a year, you can afford your own Benz and Ferrari, your own Benz and 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 BMW, but a cheaper one, maybe a fifty million, fifty thousand dollar BMW, forty thousand dollar BMW, even a sixty thousand dollar BMW, you can afford. But it's a bear on your budget, you know what I'm saying. Well, if you're making 50, 60k a year, you can't afford a BMW or a Benz. And if you do, chances are you're you're, you're drowned in debt. You you, barely, you you have no you have no after you pay your bills, you have no money for yourself. Because there's some people who make like 50, 60k a year and they buy like fifty thousand dollar BMWs. And then by the time they make their payments, they have like no money for themselves. Yeah, they're they're, they're, they're survive. They barely have any money for themselves. Yeah. Because there's some people in this world who are crazy. They 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 go over they they go over they go over their budget, obviously. For their spending, obviously. I want this car. You know I'm saying, I want, I want this sixty thousand dollar BMW. You hundred, we can't afford. I don't care. I want this. I will make payments. I want this car, and you end up getting that sixty thousand dollar BMW, and they're all stressed up because they can't. They, they what? After they make their payments, they have like no money for themselves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have enough money to pay our mortgage, buy all our food for the family, obviously, pay our internet bill, our water bill, our cable bill. You know what I'm saying? Our phone bill, obviously, and we also have to pay our like I don't know our crazy like. $500 a month bill for our fucking $60,000 BMW, obviously. You know what I'm saying? And after that, we have we only have like 80 bucks for us. So we're fucking... We was, so they have enough money to pay all the bills, but after they pay all the bills, they have no extra money to spend. In order for you to make a good living, the, the, the saying good living in this world means once you pay all your bills, you have some money for yourself to spend f f for yourself. If you don't have enough money to spend for yourself, you are surviving. You have enough money to pay all your bills, but after you pay all your bills, you have no money for yourself. Whereas if you have a couple, if you have a good 250, 300, 400 plus to spend after you pay all your bills, you're making a good living. So after you buy all your groceries, paid all your bills, your phone bill, your water bill, your cable bill, your internet bill, your car bills, your gas, your food, obviously your phone bill, obviously, and you have a nice 300 bucks for yourself. That's, you're making a good living because you have a couple hundred bucks for yourself to spend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I'm gonna tell VJ, please keep your lips sealed. These people can get envious, man. As I don't mean you don't have to. I don't have to worry about. I don't have to worry about paying any. Money. I don't have to worry about the, my bills being too expensive. I can easily afford it. I, I, I my my three hundred minute condo is paid off cash. 
And I can, me and Vijay can easily pay our monthly leasing, leasing bills, our leasing agreement bills for our cars. Ferraris and uh, for, um, Porsches are, are, are expensive, man. Uh, for, the Ferrari will probably cost me a good, like, I don't know, 20 grand a month in the cost to lease. The average person cannot afford that, whereas I can easily afford that, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, I made, like, I don't know, 10 billion dollars in my book. Hence why these people can get in, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because when me and Vijay go to the club during the first year, we go clubbing, we go, we go to the restaurant, obviously. We're gonna be, we're gonna hire drivers and limo limo drivers to take us to all these places. Look at Ivan and Vijay now; they're fucking like uh, rich. They're hiring their own drivers, obviously, to go to all these places. Obviously, everyone will know. Yeah, Ivan made his billions off his book, but some people might ask, "Yeah, Ivan, I read your book. Nice, sick book." You know what I'm saying, "How much money did you guys make off, you, off the book?" By the way, oh, I'm not gonna tell you. It's only business. Ivan, just tell us. We don't mind. No, I'm not telling you how much money I made. I don't want you feeling like shit, man. There's nothing worse than me telling a fucking waiter or a bartender that I made $10 billion of my book. They all worked their asses off just to make 35 40 k a year, and I made my easy $10 billion. You know what I'm saying? I can afford to build my 300 million dollar condo, my, buy my own jet, my own yacht, start my own sky source film studio. Yeah. Pay all the Howard Ackers millions. Yes. Pay for your Jackson's millions. Yes. I have that kind of money, hence why keep it to yourself. Don't go bragging to these Hollywood... Don't go bragging to these people. You... It, me and Vijay have such an embarrassment of riches that even the Hollywood celebrities like will can get am can, 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 can get envious. And Hollywood celebrities never get envious because they're all fucking rich and loaded. But when it comes to my wealth, even the Hollywood celebrities can get envious too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make the full video, guys. I said I was gonna cut the video earlier, but I'll be able to make a. I have about like three minutes on my phone. I, I, I can make a full video here, guys. Yeah, my wealth is so big that even guys like Keanu Reeves, Scott Johansson, Peter Jackson, even those guys will get envious of my wealth. Will get can get a bit envious of my wealth because I'm richer than all those guys. You know what I'm saying I'm the son of God. I'm better than all those guys. And Hollywood celebrities never get envious because they're they're they're, they're living they're supposed to live like they're dirty slaves. They're living the life supposedly, obviously, and they make a lot of money off their movies and their albums, obviously. And yet, even their money compared to my my money is pocket change. So I'm saying. Her? I was guarantee you, Keanu, the reason Scott Johansson might ask me, Ivan, I, I, I read your book, man. I read your answer. So that's a, you wrote that, Ivan? Yeah, that's an amazing book, Ivan. I read your book. That's a, that's a fucking amazing book you wrote, Ivan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Ivan, I saw your Zane's movie. That was a fucking masterpiece. One of the best movie children ever made. That was like the best movie children ever made, Ivan. Amazing performance, Ivan. You know what I'm saying? You must have made a lot of money off your movie, Ivan. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I did. How much money did you make? I'm like, I'm not going to tell you guys. As if I tell Keanu Reeves and all of them that I made $69 billion, they're going to feel like shit. Because they don't make that kind of money in Hollywood. They only make like $20, 15 30 $40 million in Hollywood. And I made my like $69 billion on movies and merch. They're, they're going to feel like shit. Holy shit. Ivan's fucking much bigger than us. Like, even though we're big, we're fucking small compared to Ivan and VJ. Yeah. Ivan made his tens of billions of dollars in movies and merch. And we only make like... And I thought I got paid a lot of money for the mages. Even though I made two fifty million dollars for the major, that's peanuts compared to how much I and Vijay made for their movie in Mercy. Yes, even though Keanu and Reeves signed that massive two fifty million dollar deal for the Matrix franchise, it's peanuts compared to how much money I'm making off my movie. As I'm gonna make a good like I don't know sixty nine billion dollars in my movies in merch. That's why keep it to yourself. That way you keep everyone happy. I'm gonna tell Peter Jackson, Peter, don't brag to the actors about how much money I'm paying you. They can get envious. You're making way more than them. Don't tell John and Dave how much I'm paying you. They already know. It's on my videos, but don't tell tell them. Directly, officially, otherwise they can get envious. See what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell the actors, don't brag about how much money I'm paying you guys to the crewmen, they can get angry. The Lord Wings crewmen can get angry and, and envious. As, as with the money that I'm paying the actors, they can get their nice cars and buy their nice houses. Was a Lord of the Rings crewmen can't afford the kind of cars that the actors can buy, you see what I'm saying? And it's keep it to yourself, that way you keep everyone happy. And it was this video. I'm gonna upload this video, watch my video with you guys, I'm gonna go to bed and sleep. And I'll make a video tomorrow morning. This is Ivan Amara. I'm signing out. Peace.